Hello, it's Ken from Pine Finders Old Pine Furniture Warehouse in Haddenham. And we've just had another delivery of old pine furniture. So I'm going to record a video of me showing you around all the new stuff, the stuff that's just arrived. First of all, there's a cupboard with a drawer at the top, glazed doors below, and it's got shelves inside. I'm going to show you a glimpse of the tickets. The first price being the buy, buy it as it is price, and the second price if you'd like it waxed and all restored for you. And the dimensions will be on the back in inches, height, width, depth. When we come to a wardrobe or a large cupboard, you'll notice that there's also an internal depth at the bottom there. So that's the hanging space. So that's how deep it is inside. So that's the difference. So yeah, first of all, cupboard, German, dating from about 1910. So the price, buy it now, 480. If you'd like it waxed, 527. And then that's its unique code number at the top. And those are the dimensions, 52 high, 38 and a half wide. The width always the, at the widest point and the depth always at the deepest point. And again with the height. So covered, and then these two wardrobes are already, already on the website. There's a lovely big glazed top dresser. With two doors, two glazed doors at the top. And the base there with two drawers and doors below. below. Obviously I will be taking individual photographs and videos for every piece over the next couple of weeks. It takes me quite a while to do that, but they will be itemized and put on the website in their correct categories. Lovely, very early Victorian large chest of drawers. A glazed cabinet. This was actually on the last delivery. You haven't put it on the website yet because I've been so busy, amazingly busy for this time of year. Excuse me if I'm sniffing, I've got a bit of a cold. I went, went water skiing last night and I picked up something. There's a dresser. Glazed up dresser. Well, I haven't measured or priced this yet. I think that's Scottish, that one. Uh, a lovely little, I think they're called ladies' desk. A small pedestal desk with two drawers. You've got one drawer at the top there. That'll have a key. I'll find a key for that. And another pillow. Then there's an old table. I've never seen one like this before. It's got a base with square and turned pieces. Very interesting. I haven't done anything to the to this yet, so it could be sort of restored and cleaned up if you'd like it, or if you just like it to keep its natural sort of old rustic look. It's up to you. Very large linen press. Again, this came on a couple of deliveries ago. I haven't had time to take photographs of this either yet, or put it on the website. And the other one there. What else have we got? Oh yeah, um, very large old pine marriage chest. This is dating from the 18, early 1800s, this one. Because when the guy was stripping it, he noticed underneath the, somebody had painted it sort of fairly recently and he noticed underneath it had the date on, I think it was 1830 something. Uh, right. Very large chest of drawers, checky one, Czech Republic. And then a beautiful, really stunning base. I'll try and show you all the detail. It's got columns, nice big long 
Dress base three door three drawers above three doors. And you look at the doors. That's a bit special that one. And that's is that six foot six long, yeah. Six foot six long, that one's seventy eight inches. A small dresser base. piece wardrobe all cupboard it's got a drawer at the bottom as well and it's 19 and a half internal depth on that as you can see so that's deep enough for hanging that should be fine for hanging most well everything in there and it's 19 and a half inches then we have a lovely little dresser Come back a little bit further so you can see that better. The top separates from the base for delivery. Oh, I didn't, that previous wardrobe, that doesn't dismantle. So just be careful if you've got tight stairways. Um, this wardrobe does dismantle. Nice big old pine wardrobe with two drawers at the bottom. This one does dismantle, so it should go up any stairway. Then we've got a Danish, that one was German. You've got a Danish wardrobe with two drawers, so it's almost sort of like a linen press almost. But it's got two drawers at the bottom and two doors. It's got a center, excuse that bit of tape, I just, that's better. So it's got that centre sort of um, piece there, two doors. This totally dismantles the base, is in one section. So just the two drawers are in one section, but the top dismantles. So yeah, that will go up any stairway. It's a lovely one. This is, these, these Danish ones are really good quality, as well as the German ones. Then... No, this wardrobe's on the website, so that's all right. That's done. Um, then we come round here. And what's around here? Ah, yeah. So we have a glazed cupboard. It's got three drawers on the bottom, a glazed top. This doesn't dismantle, so again, just be careful if it's going upstairs. That's on the website, so that was a waste of my time doing that. They've got, um, right, a pair of really sweet little tall skinny cupboards. Although they are a pair, I'm going to sell them separately. So there's that one, which is the one that opens right to left. And the other one, the door opens obviously the other way, left to right. Then there's, oh yeah, the, um, the mirror at the top. A base with a mirror at the top. I think it's Edwardia in this one. So you've got six drawers, each of those nice handles. And then the mirror top piece with two little drawers. Um, what have we got here? Oh yes, a large early Victorian chest of drawers. I believe this is from Wales, but I have a feeling it's actually Scottish. It looks like a kind of Scottish design to me, but I could be wrong. Two small drawers over three large. Then... So we got those. Oh yes, um, small bread cupboard or larder cupboard. Three drawers down the left-hand side with a drawer on, with a door on the right. And a 
very nice secretaire. So that looks like a chest of drawers at the moment. But if you open this up, you've got all those drawers and a curved shelf, a cur curved shaped cupboard, little cupboard door there. It's really sweet. Nice little curved drawers. You can see the curve on that. So this is beautiful, this is. And you could use that as a desk, because you can sit at that. It's missing some of these little knobs, but I might be able to sort something out. Let's see what I can do, but it's really nice, that is. I like that. Um... Then we've got a reclaimed pine bank of drawers. So it's got nine drawers, very useful thing. Each of the drawers with a brass cup handle. So this has been made pretty recently, this one. Then a large bookcase with glazed doors at the top. And three drawers at the bottom. That's S5005C. My S's look like fives. And I think last, oh no, no. There's an arched top wardrobe with a drawer at the bottom. And this one totally dismantles for delivery, so it will go up any stairway. And it's 18 inches internal depth. So that should be fine for shirts and things like that. Might be a bit tight for coats. But it's okay. You can hang things on a slight angle if you do have just a few deeper things. And then, oh, that's not very clever, is it? My blankets were keeping this warm. It's a reclaimed pine chest of drawers. So this has been made recently from reclaimed pine. Lovely solid thing though, really nicely made. And I think that is everything. There's my old, oh there's the Victorian pine table with turned legs and drawers I still haven't restored yet. I'm going to do this up, you can see it under there. Lovely, you can see the top, lovely old top. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that up and that um, Pembroke table, I think, I've put on there. So, yes, that is everything. Um, I'm going to endeavour to get all this on with a, on the website within a couple of weeks. But if there's anything in, interested in and you want more details of or more photographs or you want to do a live Facebook stream video thingy, um, just let me know. I can give you any details you'd like. Uh, I am opening my little antique shop in Princess Risborough, so I've been rushing around trying to get bits and pieces in there because trying to get get some stuff in there and get that open as soon as possible. So I have been rather busy, but if there's anything you're interested in, just let me know. I can give you details, and I hope that you find something you like.